Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. I make videos on holistic health and nutrition. So if you're into that, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Today I'm doing a what I eat in a day video. It's one of your favorites. Everything's gonna be grand, gluten and dairy free. And if you know me, you know I like nice and simple meals. So get ready for some really easy meals. I think you guys will really love these meals and as always the full recipes will be down in the description box. For breakfast I've been loving making breakfast at tacos. Now I know what you're thinking making some breakfast tacos sounds like it's going to be time consuming but not the way that I make them and you can even prep some of the ingredients in advance so that it's even easier in the morning. For this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. Some grain-free tortillas. I'm using unbunned tortillas. Eggs, ground pork, one red bell pepper, one yellow onion, some spinach, and this isn't required, but I highly recommend some cilantro and hot sauce. First up, we're going to cook the ground pork in a frying pan. I've also added a little bit of avocado oil so that it doesn't stick. While the ground pork is cooking, you can cut the red pepper and onions into small pieces and then add them to the frying pan. At this point, I usually place the lid on the pan to speed up the cooking. And then once the pork is cooked through and the vegetables have softened, you can add in the spinach. Cover for another minute or so and then you have your meat and veggie mixture. This part is super easy to prep in advance. Even if you weren't making tacos, you can make this mixture in advance and you can add that to your eggs in the morning to make your scramble extra nutritious and high in protein. So now I'm gonna remove about three quarter of the mixture and use it for breakfast for the rest of the week. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add two eggs to what's left and scramble everything together. Once your eggs are done, you can transfer everything into two tortillas, top with some cilantro and some hot sauce, and voila, you have some super simple breakfast tacos that are paleo friendly. All right, how easy was that? So as I mentioned, the best part is this egg meat veggie combo is super delicious on its own. I have it as like a scramble all the time. So if you are unable to find these tortillas, like grain-free tortillas, or you just want to skip them, then that is totally an option as well. If you are looking to find grain-free tortillas, if you're in Canada, I highly recommend checking out Natura Market. They have a ton of options. They have like the siete wraps and a few other ones. And if you are in the US, then most likely you'll be able to find them in a like health food store, anything like Sprouts or Whole Foods would have it as well. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy this, get some work done, and I will see you guys back at lunchtime. All right, it's about 1 p.m. and that's when I have a lunch. I dare you to pause this video right now and guess what I'm having for lunch. If you've watched any of my videos or you follow me on Instagram, you probably guessed Nourish Bowl. Um, yeah, that's typically what I have for lunch. And I know it may sound like repetitive. Whenever I film these videos, I try to, I like think about if I should do something differently. But the reality of the situation is you are watching a video called what I eat in a day. And that's what I eat in a day. Uh, that's what I eat almost every day, pretty much every day of the week. But I do switch it up. And that's kind of like the key thing there to not get sick of a salad every day. So I switch up the type of greens that I have, the type of protein that I add to it, the vegetables, and then the dressing. And depending on the dressing, you can really change the entire taste of the bowl. So there are tons of options. So yeah, let's get uh, building a nourish bowl. For the base of the nourish bowl, I'm gonna be using some mixed greens. I add about two small handfuls. Next, I'm going to be adding in some chicken. So now that we have our greens and our protein source, let's go ahead and add half an avocado for some healthy fats. And then this is a recent addition to my nourish bowls. I'm really enjoying adding beets. I love getting the pre-cooked organic beets from Costco, but last time I went, they didn't have any. So instead, I just picked up these frozen spiralized beets at the grocery store and I just let them thaw in the bag and then store it in the container in the fridge. Then I'm gonna add some diced cucumbers and some pumpkin seeds. 
Lastly, I gotta make a dressing and this has been my go-to. I've made this so many times by now that I don't even measure anything out. It's just avocado oil, mayo, some Dijon mustard, and a little bit of ACV, like apple cider vinegar. I will include some specific measurements in the description box for you though. Drizzle that all over and add some salt, and you got yourself a very filling lunch that is jam-packed with nutrients. All right, so I know I sound like a broken record when it comes to nourish bowls, but think of it that way. At least if you just have this big nourish bowl every single day, you know you're getting one meal that is jam-packed with nutrients. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, yeah, so much good stuff in here. And if you've seen me make a nourish bowl before, you might have noticed that I did include sweet potatoes and usually I would, but lately I've been trying to stay away from carbs at lunchtime. I feel like I feel less tired in the afternoon with having more like fats and protein in my salad over carbs. Um, I did add the beets of course and that has some carbs just not as much as like sweet potatoes would. Alright time for me to eat and I'll see you guys at dinner time. If anyone's curious while I'm filming and cooking I usually have this guy that decides to sleep right there. Okay, dinner time. So this meal is relatively easy, but it does take a little bit longer than the other meals we've been preparing. So I would recommend starting this meal like 45 minutes to 60 minutes maybe before you want to consume it. We're gonna be making a spaghetti squash pad thai. And this dish is so good. I'm really excited to show you this dish and trust me, it's worth the additional time it takes. And it's not like you're gonna be here slaving over the countertop for the full 60 minutes. It's just because we have to bake the spaghetti squash and that takes a little while. So that's just why the recipe takes a little bit longer. What I really like about this pad thai is is that it's full of vegetables. Um, typically, if you'd get like some takeout pad thai, it's pretty much just noodles and then maybe a source of protein. But here, there's gonna be protein and so many vegetables and then some great sources of fat as well. So make sure you start by preheating your oven at 400 degrees. On a cutting board, slice your spaghetti squash open and then scoop out the seeds. Then you'll add a tiny bit of water to a baking sheet and place the two spaghetti squash halves on them with the skin at the top. Then place that baking sheet in the oven and set a timer for 40 minutes. While that's baking, we're going to cook our shrimps. I typically use frozen shrimps that I thaw out and then add to a frying pan. While the shrimps are cooking, we can prepare the rest of the veggies because as I mentioned, this is a veggie loaded pad thai. You'll need one bell pepper, one head of broccoli, some shredded carrots, one yellow onion, and then snap your fingers and voila, you have everything sliced into thin pieces. By now your shrimps are probably done so you can temporarily remove them from the pan and add the vegetables with some oil and then cover the pan. We're going to be making a super simple but delicious sauce. We're going to be using some coconut aminos and almond butter and combined it. Told you, it was very simple. Once that's all combined, you can add it to the pan and mix well. At this point, you can lower the heat. We're pretty much just waiting on the spaghetti squash to be ready. Once it's ready, you'll just use a fork and scoop out the spaghetti-like strings. Mix everything well and look at that. I like to top mine with some cilantro, fresh lime, and some diced almonds. And that's it. Another delicious healthy meal done. This meal is just, if you're gonna make one of these meals, highly recommend this. Plus it's so versatile, like you can add whatever vegetables you prefer. Um, same with the protein. If you don't like shrimps, then just add like chicken or anything else really. Now, I know I didn't talk about snacks or I didn't show you guys any snacks and that is because I don't really snack during the day but I do like to have something sweet at the end of the day, so typically after dinner. So usually, honestly, I'll just have some chocolate, any type of dark chocolate nut combination. It's probably my favorite, but it is summertime here, so I've also been enjoying these so delicious like ice cream bars. They're not the healthiest, but they are dairy-free. 
Um, so those are like a nice treat on a hot day. And if I'm not having those two, then I'm probably having some baked goods from Better Mix, which is my own company. We make grain-free, gluten-free, dairy-free baking mixes. We got like brownies, chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies are my favorite. I've also been making like brownie sundaes with like the so delicious vanilla ice cream. Those two together are pretty like delicious, that's so good. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this What I Eat In A Day video. If you really like these type of recipes, just a reminder that I do have an ebook that includes some recipes. I'll leave that in the description box down below. And if you did enjoy this video, I'd be so grateful if you could give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you know of anyone that could benefit from watching this video, then definitely share it with them. And I know I have a lot of new subscribers around here, so I want to hear from you. Let me know what type of content you would like to see. I know you guys love the meal preps, the what I eat in a day videos, but if there's anything else, let me know and I'll hook you up. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!